using the compensation strategy in subtraction is no different from using it um, with addition problems. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use my first number as my starting point. So I'm going to start with 35. The next thing I'm going to do is to take my second number and I'm going to round it to the nearest 10. So to be able to use this strategy you need to be able to know how to round to the nearest 10. And 18 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. So 35 minus 20 leaves us with 15. And I've got my answer of 15. I have to work out what it is that I need to do. The question was asking me to take away 18, but I've actually taken away 20. That's too, too many. So what I need to do is to add those two back onto my answer to give me the final result. So the answer here is 17. So let's perhaps work through a, another example. Get rid of some of these numbers. Okay, so this time we might take the example of um, 68 minus 31. Okay, so as with before, I'm going to use my first number as my starting point. So I'm going to start with 68. Now working out what I need to take away first, I'm going to round this number to the nearest 10. This time I'm going to round down to 30. And 68 take away 30 is 38. Now I need to figure out, okay, if my question is asking me to take away 31, but I've only taken away 30 because of my rounding, I've still got one extra to take away. So I'm going to do that here. 38 take away that one equals 37.